an acre here. So we have a nice large lot. Um, obviously we need a little bit of landscaping. Okay, another cool thing about this house is we've got quite a few mature saguaros, which is obviously it shows you that you're in southern Arizona because this is the only place in the world where these will grow. And when they're this tall with arms, these things are well over 100 years old. So it's pretty cool. And we have a few in the backyard too and they're in really good condition, um, which is kind of a nice selling feature about this house because you can't just pick up and plant a saguaro cactus. They're very, very heavy, they're very expensive, and they're also protected. So it's pretty cool that they're already here. So another nice selling feature about this home. This is the exterior wall of the master bedroom. When I was showing you we're going to put the drywall on the inside, this is the outside. So we're going to go ahead and bring this out a little bit so it's more flush with the house. And we're going to insulate within because we know that this, with this wall um, getting this, as much sun as it does during the day, it's going to get hot in there quickly. Um, fortunately, right now it's um, December, so it's not too hot out. But we're going to replace this. We're going to bring it out. We're going to stud it. It's probably going to need two by six studs, and we'll um, put in the insulation and then reframe and cover it up with some new T111 and paint it. And that'll we'll probably put in a new window because these are just single pane windows, which are, need to be upgraded. So we might as well do that when we change that out. All right, as you can see, we've thinned out a lot of the landscaping. We've cleaned it up quite a bit. We didn't have to add anything because we already had what we needed. And so we just clear, cleared it out and got rid of the mistletoe in the trees. And we decided to do a pathway here to the mailbox. And we had a bridge built, a um, little footbridge to kind of give it the front yard a little more character and some more curb appeal. We also replenished some of the driveway gravel because it was washed out from all the rain. We had our roof completely redone and we fixed or replaced all of the fascia board that we had mentioned before we got started that needed to be fixed. We painted the trim. We did a more of an updated color. It was sort of like a rust red before. And I decided to go with more of a cactus green to go with the desert. And then we just touched up the outside where it needed it. I liked the outside color already, so we just touched it up so we didn't have to pay for paint for the entire house. As a way to kind of make the house pop, we decided to paint the front door red. It's a brand new door, like we had mentioned we were going to do. We painted it red to give it a little bit of a splash of color. This is the wall that we replaced. In the before video, we showed you that this was constructed of T111 and wood frame um, beams. We took it all out because it was in such bad condition, and we drywalled on the inside as we showed you, and we put in the slump block on the outside so it matches the construction of the rest of the house. So this is much better constructed. We put in a new window, double pane, and this just really sets off the house now. You can't really tell it was a garage conversion like you could before.